What's up? What's up, guys? Shani with Healing Elements, and I'm adding another video to either the archetype or the spirit animal video. I can't decide which. Probably both. This is talking about the mythology, the symbolism, the meaning, and information, and a little interpretation from me about unicorns. So, guys, this is all about using the energy, using the themes of the unicorn, using the archetype, using information that we can, and using it for whatever you need. So self-reflection, or just for fun, entertainment, you name it. So here is my interpretation of the unicorn, everything that we can use, the magic, the essence, the energy, the themes tied into the unicorn. So guys, uh, start off with um, the basic history of the unicorn, and then I'll give some bullet points and themes and then go into a little bit of my metaphoric to you know um, analogies and my personal interpretation modern interpretation so we talk about the unicorn of course a lot of people think of the celtic mythology and the unicorn stories within that which is very prevalent but we um, see when we either look in the internet or do some diving and research into where we first think historians um, think that unicorns were um, mentioned is they think about 3300 BC. So there's some sort of seals that the Indus Valley civilizations, like the South Asian civilizations, used for their tablets and their clay jars for um, distribution in mass quantities. So they found a lot of these, um, and that's quite old, 3300 BC. It's quite old, so they found unicorn imagery. So they found a horse with a horn in the middle of his forehead, which is the image of a unicorn. The horn is, in Celtic mythology, called an alicorn. And in Celtic mythology, the unicorn stands for freedom, something that is untamable, something that is pure so it stands for virginity or purification it also stands for power and magical healing proportions so definitely something that in scotland is still celebrated it's it's still their national animal actually and so the unicorn and the unicorn horn is reveled for healing powers again the um, unicorn horn could be used to purify water in some celtic tales again the alicorn was used for purification just like the symbolism that they tied into the unicorn itself so you know it, the unicorn horn reminds me of the divination tools that we use today you know um we use crystals and we use herbs and because the unicorn horn could be so much of a purifying medicine in the Celtic myth, um, the Celtic myths tells us that I think we can use this big time to emphasize the importance of purification of our bodies, our surroundings, and how much it can be said that a toxic environment is going to bleed into our own cells, our own environment, our own psyche, right? So detoxifying with tools, with these divination tools. I think there's a lot going into um, crystals and things that have these purification, um, you know, values that we can take out of them and use. So of course, water, salts, things of that nature, doing ritualistic cleansing of your mind, body, and soul in whatever way that you can and not you know, keeping up with the Jones is not telling yourself that you need to do A, B, or C. It's just a mindful practice. If you have in your mind that you are in need of detoxification and you use, I don't know, Epsom salt or some sort of pure sea salt, or you use crystals that are, you know, um, charged and with your energy, with a good intention and prayer and or whatever your specific um, processes and also water to cleanse the crystal that may absorb some sort of energy that may not be privy to what you're looking for, right? So this is just a very typical example of a personal purification system that you can implement. So when looking at all of the properties regarding the alicorn, the unicorn's horn and, and what it did, you know, including again, it was used to detoxify water of poisons and for, um, 
people who were elders and things of that nature, they use this uh, repetitively to cleanse any kind of wound as well. So used in a lot of healing ceremonies. And I think that the unicorn, when we get to the bullet points, has a lot of emphasis on innocence and persecution as well. So I think that this is one of those archetypes or spirits or spirit animals that can be said to really truly just be minding its own business, very innocent and be sought after so much and so elusive and so untamable, uncatchable, right? This is something that I think people get driven crazy for if you're in a lower vibration. And so it just reminds me of the bully mentality of people who seek somebody who is weak and vulnerable and gullible, perhaps definitely people pleasing um, others out there that can relate to my stories. This is about a gentle way about you. So let's go through a couple of bullet points regarding the unicorn spirit and the archetype of the unicorn. So this unicorn essence has a gentle way. So a gentle way about you, if you can relate, right? If um, you are told by people that you are so gentle that it feels good when in your presence, when you are holding their hand or just a simple grace of your touch with them if you are told that this is providing some solace and or comfort and or relief assured that you are with them of comfort that is something i think that the unicorn um, spirit evokes so also being very assured in your beliefs this is unicorn spirit is definitely magical something that is solace it's something that has to be done in a very private moment so when you are praying or when you are in your own environment, say with an altar or just with nature. If you are by yourself, assured in your beliefs, stepping into your power, the high priestess type of energy, if you're familiar, it's a confident belief in who you are, what you stand for, what you are about, the um, intuitive knowings that you have downloaded and these packages, packets of wisdom that have come to you without examination from others or other doctrine, right? I think that this is talking about this higher realm of knowing in which you don't have to check with anyone else except for source. You are communicating one with this magic. This divination is being born into you innately. So this is all about magic. When we talk about the unicorn spirit, uh, psychic abilities, of course, um, emotional, <clears throat> emotional depths of sadness, again, for the underdog, for the person who is persecuted, like the Jesus vibe, right? Someone who is doing nothing in order to receive the ill treatment and torture actually that is uh, put upon and does have to do with the unicorn. So the unicorn, when we talk about that bullet point, persecution, it is in past mythology, is something that is sought out to the point of wanting it to be ceased. So for some reason, in a lot of stories, including The Last Unicorn, if you want to check out uh, books and movies about that theme, there are six or so unicorns left and there is, you know, a king. There are a vast amount of people actually in some of the tales that want to destroy this last group of unicorns based on purely just their power. They're not doing anything wrong, but they want to harness their unicorn, you know, the alicorn, the horn for their own use. So greed and you know, um, genocide and just tearing down that of which is magical has a big, of course, you guys has a big parallel when we talk about what's going on and has been going on with dumbing us down the patriarchy, trying to eliminate any kind of self sovereign, magical, you know, um, gifts that we may come across and label them as hazardous or pagan or satanic, right? This is all wrong. And it was all brainwashing in my opinion. So if you're talking about the unicorn spirit, we're talking about sensitivity, sensitivity to a spooky degree, right? It's just, you spook easy. Think of a horse. So, so sensitive can feel the vibrations from miles away, right? This is definitely, um, um, like the canary in the coal mine type of vibe. You are going to be able to sense something much sooner than other people. If you real, if, if you relate to this spirit, just like the unicorn, um, very, very, like a Richter scale, very sensitive to all vibes and to all things that are coming to potentially hunt you as prey, right? So, you know, you are also, if you relate to this spirit or in general, 
unicorn has to do with beauty. So tranquility and beauty. If you are called to things that are beautiful of all different types, all different spectrums, kind of like beautification of self and others, beauty that other people don't see within, a beauty that you can make within an opportunistic beautification in a neighborhood, maybe like a co-op garden, right? Beautiful scenes, locations sticking there and not just looking and going to the next. This is about a vista and people and stories being part of these locations and scenes being all blended together, a magical, you know, interpretation. And I think that the beautiful experiences that lie within life as well, you know, that seem magical. This is the unicorn essence, the, you know, like having a child, those kind of once in a lifetime magical energetic feelings that we can't really describe in words when people talk about a near-death experience, something like that. It is just this beautiful love and energy that is more than what you can put into your vocabulary, right? Um, beauty is your muse. If you res resonate with the unicorn spirit, it transforms your state of mind, inspires you, right? It sparks off creative drive. It excites you. You appreciate beautiful things. Again, bodies. You appreciate the sexual organs for their, their beautiful parts and what they are able to do. The breast for the milk for the child. This part of physical bodies that have to do with beautiful energies because they provide things, right? This mentality and spiritual light body and soul you feel is all blended together. So unicorn is the, the light that is iridescent. It is as beautiful as everyone else. It is an equality. Um, also, when you talk about the unicorn spirit, it's talking about an element of receiving, being able to receive something that is magical, opening up, right? Because unicorns do have a meaning when we talk about opening up to the other side. Uh, they are a clear channel. So the unicorn spirit is another one of those uh, archetypes or spirits that can uh, be very, you know, um, very important and very much of a sign, very much of a puzzle piece, a clear channel conveying those things, those messages, those things that are of light back and forth from the different sides, from our physical existence to another Right. So this comes along when you are seeking comfort, perhaps with a strange scenario that happens to you spiritually and you're awakening. You just are provided comfort when we talk about the unicorn and it comes through with a magical tone, a magical sort of validation. Also, um, of course, when we talk about the unicorn spirit, we're talking about legends. So legends are not necessarily myth. When we talk about legends, they are just simply something that are repeated in oral history that are not necessarily scientifically or proven by, you know, an order of science. And so when we talk about the unicorn, we're talking about an extraordinary legend, right? This talks about abandoning any darkness. Um, the spirit animal has this mystical, mystical energy to it, right? Um, it, it asks us to seek the shadow within along with the light because when we talk about magic and evolving and spiritually getting to a place of ascension ascending higher we talk about acknowledging accepting both parts of dark and light within us as the whole not just one or the other but both at the same time at all times are who we are in totality so this unicorn spirit definitely has a theme and meaning in the past mythology and now currently as my interpretation is shining a light onto not only our compassionate side and our gentleness and grace but the darkness and the opposite of those qualities you know the subtle presence of the dark parts within within our behavior within our own mechanisms. This is our shadow work, right? Um, when we acknowledge that we heal, we love, and we accept those parts of us, we can therefore turn towards more of that um, Christ consciousness, Jesus consciousness, when we're unconditionally forgiving, unconditionally loving, we accept no matter what, if you're a murderer or a prostitute or a leper, right? Jesus, and in this case, the unicorn accepts, loves all shadow, all light within our Selves, and that means everything, a totality, right? Um, this also has a meaning about examination. 
So the unicorn spirit is very solo. It's a creature in mythology, in Celtic mythology, that is um, generally by itself with its own family. You know, one of six or one of five, whatever, in the um, forest by itself. It does not frolic with other you know, it's not a team player. It is something that has to figure out something. It's very secretive, very elusive, very, very, you know, um, skittish. Something that has to be taken with, you know, very soft steps to approach again. It is sought after and untamable. So this is a creature that is wild. And if you possess the, I guess, energy, vibration, the calm serene demeanor to approach this this is a beautiful thing this is when you are able to get a blessing this is um, a blessing that will shine on you and this is something that is very very beautiful almost like people who can be around like you know like a horse whisperer things like that so unicorn in the mystical sense of course is that which is beyond the veil that which we look upon as fairies, uh, angels, uh, mermaids, things of that that are considered to be fiction, but are they really, right? This is about the silent respect that we give to things that could be because they've been talked about so many times in the past. This is talking about also when we're talking about the archetype of the unicorn or energy, a delicate, a delicateness, caring for things that are very delicate, like butterfly wings, giving the gift of our sensitivity back to that which is very sensitive and needs care. So special needs or something that is old that we are caring for with a very quiet, sensitive, gentle, delicate approach, right? So when we talk about to leave off the unicorn spirit, you know, this is just talking about enthusiastically embracing all magic celebrating respectfully this without having doubts without having these moments of uncomfortability so this is a transcendental moment when we talk about the unicorn so magical and a joyful spirit a joyful energy rather just seeing something rare understanding that it is magical not being fearful about it acknowledging it as real for you and not truly having to go out and proclaim it as something that you have experienced. It's a very private type of energy when we talk about the unicorn. So in any case, guys, I appreciate you once again for listening to my interpretation and some of the meanings that we have, um, of course, historically uh, given to the unicorn spirit. Blessings, love and light and super, super wishing you nothing but positive vibes.